don't change nothing. We are right. Praise the Lord, Amen. When we when we say there is only one Lord, only one faith, only one baptism. And the old saints used to say it like that. Uh, they would say one law, one faith, one baptism, one husband. Yes. One wife. Yes. And no sweetheart on the side. You don't hear nobody preach like that no more. Uh, and in the God, when I stop by to tell somebody, don't change nothing. have left his church in the earth to be an example that we can live a holy and a godly life in the presence of a wicked and a perverse generation when men are marrying men and women are marrying women when we got leaders that don't know what to do or what to say but I stop by and tell somebody, don't change nothing. Don't change it. Whenever there is a change, you will bring confusion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't change nothing. We don't have to embrace other denominations and do it the way they do it. What you mean other denomination? Praise the Lord. Amen. The writers say we ought to not have fellowship with the fruits of darkness. What you mean by that? Amen. Of all people that is not like precious faith, we ain't got no business fellowship in them. Uh, amen. Of God. And when they invite us, uh, when they invite us to go to their churches, we ought to not go to help promote the devil's movement. I can't finish this. We ought to not support them. That's right. That's right. Amen. We ought to not bring up the people. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. In the midst of something where we go, y'all, but we don't believe all what they believe. Well, if we don't believe all what they believe, we ought not even go. All right, now y'all, y'all look, look, don't we go over now, now, now? Don't y'all bring that back. Well, I want to tell you, Amen. If we go, we wind up bringing it back because they're the one gonna ask questions uh, why they can do it uh, and they save why they do it uh, and they save uh, they calling on the name of the Lord too, Amen. The God, why we can't do it. What are you saying? Amen to God. You get around people. Amen. Come on, people. We get around people. They don't believe head covering. Hallelujah. Now you're meddling, brother preacher. Well, I'm trying to preach what Bishop would preach. Hallelujah. So we bring, amen, what we see others do. Even some time among conventions when God trying to tell us, listen, you are a dicey within yourself. We don't have to be like them. We can be different. Amen. We can be peculiar. We can be a royal priesthood. You know what they tell us when we go to the convention? And I ain't lying to you. When we go to the convention and I bring a, a bus load of saints, a, a van load of saints, they look at them strange. They say, what church y'all go to? I was running a revival in Henson, South Carolina, and one of the sisters came and she looked mother up and down and she looked me up and down. She said, y'all look so clean. 
Don't change nothing. When you don't change it, you become, amen, of God, the salt of the earth. When you don't change nothing, you become the light of the world. When you don't change nothing, you ought to be so glad because the writers say, remember how short my time is. If you're going to do anything for the Lord, you got to make it count. Amen, of God. I said, Daniel was in Babylon, but he didn't change what they believe. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego was in Babylon, but they didn't change what they believe. Paul and Sons, they were in jail, but they didn't change what they believe. Don't change nothing! You don't have to bring in among us praise dancing. Don't you know you got to practice to do that? You got to practice to praise days. Amen. When the Spirit of the Lord come upon a soul, they don't know if they're going to pick up the right feet. They don't know if they're going to pick up their left feet. They don't know if they're going to spin. They don't know if they're going to bow. Amen. The God, because we see God, when He moves upon them, God do what He wants you to do and not what you can practice to do. We got to do something to hold these young folk. I offer him. Preach to them young folk. Preach to them. Don't lie to them. Preach to them. And in the law of the Bible say, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. I don't believe we need to compromise anything. If they don't want to live for God, they're going to be like a bad apple. And in the law of one bad apple will small. You can't love sin enough and compromise with sin enough. Sin have no limitation. It'll take you to the bottomless pit. You say, you don't be hard on them. Don't be hard on them. You're not being hard. Jesus said, Amen, my yoke is easy. My burden is light. Amen. If you tell him in the God to abstain from loss, abstain from fornication, abstain from Amen, hungering, abstain from adultery, you're not being hard. Amen, God, you're trying to save that life from perishing. When you preaching about uh, love not the world, uh, neither the things that is in the world. Uh, if any man love in the world, uh, the love of the Father is not in him. Uh, for all that is in the world uh, is the lust of the eye, uh, the pride of life, uh, and the lust of the flesh. Uh, and these are not of the Father, but of the world. Shacking up is still wrong. You just say don't change nothing. Shacking up is wrong. Keep preaching against shacking up. When you know someone is shacking up, preach until they come out of shacking up. Keep preaching until they come out of it. I said, keep preaching until they stop shacking up. Somebody lying, keep preaching until they stop lying. Is somebody cheating on their wife, cheating on their husband, keep preaching on it until they come. Well, I'm trying to go. You can't go nobody. God got to do that. And the only way God know how to grow people, he let the word do it. No matter where it's at. And you that is slipping and slime, the trumpet gonna sound, and ain't no 